Hey everybody, what is up? It is I, the salty one, Salty Skookum, aka Warpath. Welcome to the top three revolver pistol combos video updated. We're here in St. Denis, live and direct at the Ku Chow and Company Gunsmith. Here with my favorite gunsmith in all of Red Dead Online, Mr. Wu. And today we're going to be discussing the top three revolver pistol combinations. All right. Now, if you're a hardcore player like me, you like to switch up and use as many weapons as possible. If you, if you go into your progress and check your awards, scroll on over to Sharpshooter, you will see that the first two categories is kills with an enemy with a pistol, kills with an enemy with a revolver. As you can see here, I'm slightly ahead on the revolver than I am on the pistol. But what I'm going to do is I'm using dual Mausers right now to try to catch up so I can go back to using the combo that I had. We'll get to that later. All right. So you want to get those awards. Get those done. They're pretty good. Pretty good awards to keep up now. You know what I mean? All right. So. If you're a new player, you're going to automatically start with the Cattleman Revolver, and you're going to be using that basically for a while until you can rank up and get two guns. And then after that, I think it's around a level 80 or so. I can't remember the level. Anyways, you can, you know, basically use whatever. People can use, you know, sh double barrel shotgun, uh, the, the handheld one whatever the guns that you'll see on this video today are strictly personal preference and I did all the math for them by taking their stats down and what I try to do to get a good pistol com uh, good revolver pistol combo is that you kind of want to match the fire rate and the accuracy as best you can between the two weapons now the cards that you want to use also will help you out immensely once you can open up and get all four of your card slots open, you're going to want to probably use these cards that I have right here. This is basically the best card setup for when you're using a revolver pistol combo. Now, I free aim. So, I use Paint It Black a lot to help me lock on certain targets that I can't lock on normally if they're like moving around too fast or you know they're bobbing and weaving and they're doing something. So I use Paint It Black to help me with my free aim. I use Eye for an Eye because I usually try to go for a headshot. And that helps you with not taking as many tonics for your dead eye. I use Strange Medicine because when you inflict damage onto the enemy, uh, you kind of gain back a little health. And then Gunslinger's Choice not only uh, helps you deal more damage with your double-fisted weapons, but it becomes a little bit more accurate. So you use the Gunslinger's Choice with the Painted Black. Those cards help each other. You use an Eye for an Eye with the Strange Medicine. Those cards help each other. So those are the, basically the cards that I use when I just strictly use two-fisted weapons, offensively anyways. All right. Now with all that being said, let's get to the nitty-gritty, the bones, the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. All right, Mr. Wu, let's do this. So we're going to go into my customizations here because I basically have all the guns. Now, a gun that you're not going to see on this list is the Navy Revolver. And I'm going to pull it out and show you why. It's because the Navy Revolver I can see you look after your firearm. is pound for pound the best weapon as far as pistol revolvers in the game, in my opinion. So there isn't really a gun that you could use, a pistol that you could use to like go with this. Another gun would be the Showfield. So you basically just want to duel two navies or two Showfields just because of the way the guns themselves, um, you know, are. I so hope this don't bring more people to Chinatown. You won't see the but Navy Revolver. You won't see the Showfield. I have a Showfield here. I'll show you my Showfield. You won't see the Showfield. On this Looks list. like you've been taking good care um, of that gun. If you want to see where they fit in, you can go back. I have a video back on my Xbox build where I did the top five revolver pistol combos. But coming in at number three for the first gun on the list, believe it or not, is the Lamat revolver. 
The Lamat Glad revolver. You're taking care of it. Uh, so was many basically don't. it's based on a real weapon. Um, it was made in, early on in the Civil War for Confederate officers. Um, not a whole lot were made. Um, this gun is basically your do-it-all, boom, bang, bing gun. You know what I mean? So you're dealing with, um, I believe it's nine rounds in um, in the cylinder there. And it's a percussion cap gun, so basically you load the ball with the gunpowder through the front of the cylinder. You put the cap I don't on the back. I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay open. There's a switch you could flip, and it has a little 10 gauge shotgun on the bottom of the barrel there. And uh, if you go into your settings, you can make the adjustment to where you could just keep sw squeezing the trigger, and um, your character will switch the gun on its own. So when you run out of cylinder bullets, it will switch on the shotgun on its own, and then you don't have to worry about hitting the switch if and you're doing it in the middle of a gunfight. The slums, Anyways, the Lamat revolver does 50 damage. It has a 60 fire rate. It has a 68 accuracy. It has a 50 range. It has a 58 reload, and it comes in at a total overall number of 57.20. Now, this gun is a good gun. Uh, a lot of people use them dual wield and stuff, but I tell you what gun is good to use it with if you're doing the pistol revolver. Uh, challenges and that is the volcanic pistol the volcanic pistol is basically a Looks handheld like rifle is what it gun. is like a handheld um, uh, repeater gun this was also a real gun back in the old west it was made in um, the late 1860s again not a lot of these guns were made um, they had some reload issues where if you reloaded as you could see you could reload the gun from the front of the gun there into the bottom cylinder and uh, if you did it too fast or at a certain angle then the first bullet will hit the firing cap of the next dark. bullet and then Always you have an internal on. explosion into the gun anyways the volcanic does 57 damage it has a 50 fire rate it has a overall highest accuracy of any weapon in the game and that is a 72 accuracy it does a 50 range all the guns that you will see today all have 50 range. So it has a 50 range. It has a 60 reload. It comes in at an overall 57.80. You get the total of these two weapons together, and it's an overall total of 115 of um, total points. Uh, these two guns go well together just strictly because of the fire rate. Uh, the fire rate on the Lamat is 60. The fire rate on the Volcanic is 50. It's very close. It's kind of a it's kind of a gap, not a big gap, but the accuracy is right there with each other at 68 for the Lamat and 72 for the Volcanic. Uh, they also have a very similar reload speed, a 58 for the Lamat and a 60 for the Volcanic. So you put I'm those two to guns together. If you need they me. both carry a large capacity of ammunition, so you could just be spit firing out of your hands for a cool minute. But again, they do take a little time on the reload. As you can see with the other weapons, they reload pretty fast. So those is, comes in at number three with the Volcanic and the Lamat pistol. Now what I like to do first and foremost is I like to put the pistol in my right hand on my right holster. And I like to put the revolver in the front or in the second you hand. Need any help? That way when you're shooting your gun, if you're right-handed, your pistol, because it usually will have a higher... Uh, round capacity than the revolver so you want to get those shot out first and last so your first bullet will be shot out by your pistol and the last bullet will be shot out by your pistol in between you know it's just like bang 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 you know what i mean as many times as you can pull that trigger all right so that comes in at number three the lamat and the volcanic coming in at number two are my two personal favorite combos to use and that is the double action revolver Double action I revolver. I can see you look after your firearm. It uh, was made in the late 1800s, so about 1895-ish, 96-ish, which is perfect for the realm of this game. Um, you can get it here at Old Wu. He gives you a good deal on it. Um, it does a 38 damage. It's kind of a low in the damage, but it has one of the highest fire rates of all the weapons in the game of 82. 82 fire rate. It has a 50 accuracy. It has a 50 range. It does a 70 on the reload with we a 58 overall. The finest quality guns this is one of the south. guns that if you dual wield two um, double actions or the next gun that I'm coming to, to show you next, um, the cards that you use will help out immensely with these two weapons. So 
Um, I personally, Double Action is one of my favorite games. A lot of people sleep on it. Uh, I love it just because of the fire rate. When you're in a firefight, the best thing to do is just get as many rounds down fucking range as you can, especially if you're free aiming. I know a lot of people frown on that. Can I help you but find something? But when you're using this weapon with the cards that you're using, and you're getting headshots, it's fucking money every time. So boom, bang, bing. And that takes us to the next weapon that will go with the double action rever re revolver there. And that is the semi-auto pistol. All right. The semi-auto pistol. taking care of it. So uh, was also a gun don't. that was made in the late 1800s. It's a forefront of the grandfather of what would be the Luger, and they're in Germany. Uh, the semi-auto pistol does 33 damage. It has the highest fire rate of all the weapons in the game at 85. It does 65 accuracy. The range is 50. The reload is 80. 80 apologies. And the overall rating is 62.60, Maybe I bringing the two guns together at 120.60. Now, the two but guns I'm together, sure things will turn if around. you match this with the double action, if they're very, very similar. The fire rate for the double action is 82. The fire rate for the semi-auto is 85. The accuracy for the double action is 50, and the semi-auto is 65. But then again, you're using the cards. The cards help you a lot. The reload is very similar between 70 and 80 between the double action and the, and the semi-auto. So Just they are very close together anything. as far as speed, performance, accuracy, everything you need as far as looking at that challenge. This is the main reason why I use these two guns together all the time. Uh, once I get to that mark again and that, you know, and on another note, this is the highest rated gun after the latest update. Uh, the overall rating of this gun is 62.60, and that takes it as the you number won't one find rated a selection of firearms hand this gun side of the river. in the game of Red Dead. So, the only other gun that comes on top of that is in story mode, and that's the M1899, and we'll get to that later. All right. So. Let us take us to the number one combo as far as the rankings go. Not a lot of people will probably use this, but it is the number one rated weapon. And uh, it is the Cattleman Revolver, believe it or not. The Cattleman Revolver is actually based Looks on Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. 1865 Colt Army Revolver that was given to uh, officers, similar to the Colt Navy. Uh, the Colt Army here, it does a 42 damage it has a 75 fire rate with a 67 accuracy a 50 range and a 67 on the reload bringing it to a total of 60.20 now this gun here you get it first right out the gate you don't have to pay nothing for it if i think you can get a dual one for like me, 30 or 50 I bucks i believe much depending I upon be the sale to stay open. in the game and whatnot and uh yeah so there's that going for you so, let's take us to the next weapon that goes with this. And believe it or not, it's kind of funny how it goes with it. And that is the Mauser. Bring in the Mauser in. The I Mauser does 36 damage. So many people it has don't. a fire rate of 80, an accuracy of 62, and a range of 50. It has a 75 on the reload and bringing it to a 60.60 overall. And you put these two guns together and it's a 120.80. But if you look at the guns themselves, this is something where the stats come in and it's very close and similar. To where you don't have to really wait on cocking the gun. Very good or chop suey on the street. Say I sent you. I just You don't want that split second lag when you're firing dual weapons. So the damage is very similar within range. It's 42 for the Cattleman and 36 for the Mauser. The fire rate is very similar. So it's 75 for the Cattleman and 80 for the Mauser. Now you could use a semi-auto in the place of the Mauser, but the fire rate is a 10 point spread. So the semi-auto is an huh, 85 your time. and the Cattleman is a 75. So with that Mauser fire rate, you're saving a couple of milliseconds there on the firing of the both guns at the same time. The accuracy is almost dead on accurate. You got 67 for the Cattleman and 62 for the Mauser. And then basically the reload is very similar to within range, 67 for the Cattleman and 75 for the Mauser. So overall, you put all the numbers together with the overall ratings and it becomes the best gun overall. 
uh, combo in the game. I hope to bring more people to Chinatown. Uh, but you do I look at the magazine reaching. capacity where you have 10 rounds in this internal fed magazine compared to six rounds in the cattleman. But when I was using this combo, I would just basically go bang, bang, bang until the cattleman was out. And I would just reload just because of the reload speed of the Mauser was quick. And you're constantly spitting that lead down range at a good and consistent rate. So, and um, believe it or not, if you're playing story mode, the Cattleman if and the, the M1899 is the best combo to have in be with able all to the game. Open. The M1899 is a gun that probably should be in Red Dead Online considering it was originally made in 1898, but it did not hit the market until 1899, which is why they call it the M1899, which is something that Rockstar uh, actually was pretty good about. Um, but considering the fact that all the weapons that were made between the Civil War and 1905, uh, man, man, got there's shot right there many, on many, Courtney many different Street. guns that they could add to this now game. Here you carry a don't. gun. But those are the top three combos there. You have uh, number three, you have the Lamette and the Volcanic. At number two, you have the Double Action and the Semi-Auto. And at number one, you got the Cattleman and the Mauser here. And, uh, of course, you always want to use the cards, use the correct cards. Try to save yourself trouble with the tonics and stuff, especially when you're in a fight, because seconds count in a matter of a firefight. So that's the whole point of making these combos. To you get the awards done in the challenge waiting. list, and it is also fun to use when you're just spitting hot fire down range. So that all being said, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, please catch my shows always on YouTube over at Warpath TV. Or you can catch me over at Twitch at Salty underscore Skookum. Please check the information box below for all my social media information and things like that. And uh, thank you again for joining me. I hope this helps you out. Uh, I know if I had something along these lines when I first started, I probably would have had a better number rate than I do um, on my first build. So that's why I'm trying really hard to get this one going. So that all being said, man. Take if care. Thank you for tuning in. From me, Shout I don't out know for how Mr. Wu here. Will be able to stay open. For letting us use his store. I didn't mean to cut you off there, sir. So uh, take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Stay frosty. Peace.